Hey, what's up, man? We're back on this heavy rain. It's been a minute since I recorded. It's been about a week. I only had two videos scheduled for you guys, you know what I'm saying? But we back. Last episode, I'm not about to explain it. If you ain't see it, go watch it. I wanted to edit it out, but I ain't had time to do all that. And I'm lucky YouTube didn't strike me for that or anything. So, yeah. Anyways, let's get back to it. Uploads. I was supposed to upload yesterday, but things happened. I don't know. What was it? A lot of people outside my house? When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. They all up in this man business. What in the world? Like, geez, the man's son missing and all these people outside his house? I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. We go through the back door or the front door? Alright, that's the car. Alright. It's been a minute, man. I ain't about to lie. Why does this man walk like this, dog? But yeah, we uh, finally got all characters, so now we can. I ain't no getting to know him, I guess. Okay, I'm assume that we could have ran into all those people, but we did it. Hey, where are we at? What in the world is going on? Gonna, gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't, can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. Is it an airport or a train? What, what, what's going on? Y'all just gonna throw us in all these places, but I don't know what's going on. I, I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. I wonder what's wrong with you. Notice you acting weird. <laughs> what in the world? We is not about to do this. Dad, where are you? Jason! Dad! Jason! Oh, they're falling! Oh my god! I'm so sorry! What in the world is going on? All these people! Oh, there he is! Hey, boy, get over here! Hey! Don't you run from me! Don't, don't you dare run from me! Get over here! Hey! Jason! Right here! Hey! 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 What in the... Oh my god! Hey! 
Hey, I still see you. Get over here. Move. Ah! Ah! These people obviously think this man crazy. What in the world? Luggage lockers. Man, why do these pedestrians move like that? Line 18, box number 3. Alright, here we go. 18. Alright, here we go. It's a shoe box. It was the same box that uh that one store cloak gave the uh detective. Yeah, I remember in the uh, last episode it was. Before the shower. Speaking of which, are we at a detective again? Oh, this, oh. Alright, we got an achievement. We got two achievements. Uh All right. See here. So somebody like arts and crafts, I'll say that. And the gun. I want to see this gun. Hold on. Is it loaded? Are you prepared to show Kurt to save your son? Joe's Garage parking lot, 4988 Roosevelt Avenue, Lexington. 4988, okay. I gotta do all this stuff just to find this boy. Alright, so what does this do? Oh, this right here. It's a phone. I thought this was a camera. Help. Oh, Dad. Sean. He's in the sewer drain. You? I'm so cold. Dad. Dad. That's not a phone. That's one of them camcorders. No, it is a phone. How far are you prepared to go to save someone you love? What is wrong with these people? Five origami figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters, and the letters are revealing. Oh my god. Y'all got me being detectives. Oh my god. I gotta, I gotta do this. I, and, I, and I gotta do that. And, and this. Oh my god. So what's up with the gun? Is that a murder weapon or something?
Oh, I, was, I can't even speak. I wonder what was in that hotel just now. So yeah, I meant to record earlier, but I ain't know. I'm, I'm not feeling well. The All killer right. is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? Aggressive. It builds up a profile of the killer and helps us understand the person we're looking for. It might have been useful if it was done earlier in this investigation. Continue, Jaden. Rainfall, geoprofiling. The rainfall. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square miles. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? No. It may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake? If you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm all ears. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, we gotta get off our asses and find him. Go for it. Blake, him. I've had just about enough of your shit. You've been chasing this guy for what? Two years? And what are you caught, huh? Nothing! Oh That's my god, that's what I mean. Nothing. What, you think you can do a better fucking job than me with your psychology degree and your great glasses? Well, let me tell you something, pal. That don't mean zip when it comes to getting out there. You're just a fucking bureaucrat. Oh. Go for it. Your him. vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. <laughs> fucking asshole! That's enough. I'm playing bad cop right now. Regressive you said cop. it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. Not eight inches. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. That's three days. I'm about to say who's following me. I'm just burning on you. Oh. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. That's illegal. That's illegal! Oh my god. There is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. That's what I'm saying! Call the cops. I mean, you're right there. What in the what in the world? Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. Pretty religious, yeah. He's a god a fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. 
had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I'd come to Earth to persecute him. Real twist. Oh, he a medicine, no wonder. Oh, this man on that stuff. Oh, his bathroom dirty. More medicine. More medicine. This man house dirty. Wait, what's what's up with the milk? Candles are still lit. He should be back soon. Uh oh. If you don't turn around. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Naaman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Uh, why all the crucifixes? Are you afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. All right. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. You were arrested in a case where a child disappeared from a park. What exactly happened? I'm innocent. I have nothing to do with those murders. I was in the park because God spoke to me. I was arrested because I am the chosen one. That's all. What Why about the voices, head so Nathaniel? Long? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Oh, we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? Blake, what are you doing? I can't talk about it. He mustn't talk about it. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. No, I'm not going to intervene. I want to see what he's talking about. No! You mustn't mention him! You'll bring him here! He told you to go and find that kid in the park. The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop! Stop! That's enough! So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? No! No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? <clears throat> you were the oh! Christ. Down the gun, I saw Nathaniel. The to your father in hell. I thought y'all was against guns. Of Satan. Uh, maybe he was I don't sent know. To I'm not, to I'm not sure. This person on this. For Christ's sake, shoot! I can't shoot him. No. What uh, was no? Oh, I, Drop the gun now. Uh. Keep calm. Everything is gonna be fine, Nathaniel. Demon. You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. If I shoot him, I get in trouble. I don't know. 
Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. I'm here to help you, Nathaniel. To give rid of the voices in your head, but you have to trust me. Back away, slowly. I pressed R1 and it didn't kill him. Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Oh, I said X? What in the world? Oh, it worked. The reason it worked, I didn't have to shoot him. Put your hands on your See, head. See, that's how you peacefully take down somebody who's pointing a gun at you. Turn around. Motherfucker! What in the what? In the name of the Lord, I exorcise thee, Satan. What in the world? Okay, freak. The show's over. You're under arrest. Pretty damn cool under the circumstances. I would have just shot him. Of course you would have. Gun isn't the answer to every problem, Blake. <laughs> Maybe not, but most of the time it helps. I actually pressed R1, but I, I think like I was moving when I pressed it, so I pressed X, if that makes sense. So yeah, ba basically, oh my god, what kind of car is that? So yeah, basically, when I play any kind of game or story mode games, uh, mostly, um, you know, my thumbs is on one side of my controller. And my other thumbs on the other side controller. I just got my fingers ready in case I gotta get into a fight, you know? In case I gotta use that joystick sticker, you know what I'm talking about? So, I ain't never lacking, basically. But yeah, man, we're gonna wrap it up there, man. Like, subscribe, peace out. Catch y'all next one, man.